welcome back in this video we are going to explain what is a full stack developer so as you can see in this picture we have front end and then we have the back end so these two mix up what a full stack developer so what is a front end developer a front developer implement what the user sees all right and uses a technology like react or angular or view and for back end guy or a back end developer implement the actual business logic right authentication deleting implementing all the apis and for the back end we use a technology like js java or or python and for database we have what is called mongodb or mysql okay cool so if you know these two then you call yourself as what a full stack developer that is what we are because we are going to create ex an expenses application using these two technologies right okay now that you know next thing is let's see the pattern or the design pattern we are going to use in our project and we have in the word mvz if you haven't so we're going to implement a uh, use a design pattern called mvc in our project that is why we have created these structures so let me close this ones so we did this one in the previous video so let me close this one for now here yeah. as you can see inside the server we have these folders sorry not node we have the controllers model and route so this folder tells you that you're using an, an mvc but before that let's learn what mvc is all about right so mvc m stands for model right now i'll talk about model and view v stand for view and then c stand for controller so let's take them one by one all right so here we have what is called data modeling i will come back to the but before that let me explain to you what is model first before we come back to that all right so model is an object right of, of an opt an object of which we want to create right so in our project you can see that we have three model that's a user okay that is login register and then update profile is for user and we have expenses model and we have the income model so we have no application we have three kinds of what model so models are just an object of which we can create an instance of our object out of that right so first of all we have um user so we're going to model our user and this user how can you model it okay now for this user i want to have an eye of the user mouth leg hand head whatever the color white whatever cool so before you start coding the most important thing is know how you're going to model your data the things you need first before you start coding so now you know how our model is it is next is how can we create an instance of this model right that's what is called the schema right but before that let's go ahead and explain what is a controller a controller contains the business logic of your application right it contains the business logic of your application so for example if we are not logging we cannot create an account so if you look at our final project where is it this one this one when if i don't log out and i'm trying to create a new income you see that it asks me to log in that is the controller right that is controller is working now but as soon as i log in with the right email like that and my password is like this when i log in you see that i have loading this all the business logic right when the user is not logging this place i'm loading and this is what is called the business logic of the application right cool as soon as i finish logging see that i have expenses this one model income one model right cool so how we can model our data is called modeling right so now that we understand where is my slide controller that's how controller works and now let's look at how this this works together right so like i said we have our model this is where our database 
lines how we can create an instance of our models for example we have users and for this user model we can create as many as users that we want and for expenses we can create as many expenses as you want that's what you call the model right so that's where your data logic lies and we come to the the uh, controller is what your business logic right and the view is what the user sees so let's see how these things talk together always controller talks to the model right because it will take the database and do some logic and give it to the view what you see for example the model says that unless you provide the right credentials before you log in. So that's our schema, right? First name is required, last name is required. So when a user is trying to make registration or login, the user refuses to provide, let's say, provide um, first name, it will yield an error and give to the user, right? So the view just takes the response from the controller and display it. But for the controller, takes the database, the data logic from here, make some logic and display to the user. So always model and controller talks back to back. But model cannot talk directly to the view unless controller give response to so always controller give response, whether success or or failure. Alright. So now that you understand how this, this works, in the next video, we are going to start creating our first model.